Welcome back to New York Sports MC. Today we're going to go through a player that could be available for the Jets on day two at a position of need that has a tie to the organization. As you may have seen in one of my previous videos, I spoke about how Michael Pittman Jr. and Van Jefferson could be an option for the Jets at the wide receiver position and how they have ties to our organization as well. The person I want to speak about today is Matt Hennessy, center from the Temple Owls and brother of Jets long snapper Thomas Hennessy. We obviously know that we need to try to improve the offensive line in any way possible. Bringing in a center is definitely something that can help us out. So I did some research today on Matt Hennessy, and some of the information was definitely impressive to me. Uh, as we look at Hennessy did not give up a sack in 828 snaps that he played, allowing four total pressures in the 2019 season. He only allowed 14 pressures during the three years he started at Temple. He's six foot four, 295 pounds, and he helped lead the Temple offensive line to rank 23rd in the nation in, when it comes to the run game blocking and 29th in the nation when it came to pass blocking. And graded out as Pro Football Focus's top rated center at 86.9 this past year. So those are very impressive numbers. It's a position that we definitely need to improve upon. And as I read more to try to see what was his strengths and weaknesses and watch some videos on him, what really impressed me is when you hear about some of his areas of strength. He's a great leader. He's a quarterback of the offensive line. He really com commands the line and gets them in and out of the right schemes. That's very important for the center position. It's going to alleviate a lot of pressure from Sam Darnold knowing that he has somebody in front of him that he can trust to make sure that these blocks are picked up accordingly. As we saw in the whole seeing ghost games against, against the New England Patriots, that offensive line had no idea who was coming, who wasn't coming, who was responsible for who. There was free runners the whole game. So intelligence is going to be huge at that center position. Being able to get somebody in there that can make the right calls, recognize blitzes and where they're coming from, is going to be huge. And it looks like Matt Hennessy is going to be able to do that for us. Obviously, with his brother already being on the team, you would, you would assume that they're going to be looking a little more at Matt. I'm sure Thomas is in there talking to him, saying, hey, check out my brother. I think he can come in here and help us out. So I would definitely look to select him with that Leonard Williams pick or, or even our normal third-round pick. When I was looking to see where he was projected to go, they said top, um, bottom of the second round to bottom of the third round. So we do have two pretty early first round pick, uh, third round picks, I'm sorry. So hopefully with one of those third round picks, we would be able to secure him. Because as you guys know, I mentioned we need to go O-tackle, offensive tackle round one, wide receiver round two, and then let's get Tom, uh, Matt Hennessy sorry, here in this third round. So what was some of his areas of weakness? The biggest weakness that I read is that he can still look to put on more strength and would struggle with some bull rushers which obviously that's going to be concerning whenever you go up against a team that has a big nose tackle, that they're going to line him up right over there. He's going to be able to, you know, he's going to struggle when it comes to that. But strength is something where as he starts to still build up into his body, he, got, he, he still is only 22 years old, so right? He's going to continue to grow and continue to develop in, into his body. I think strength is something that's easy for them to try to put on some more strength to where he can be able to put up with that a little bit more. Um, will he ever be a mauler? Probably not. But I think at the center position, it's more important to have that intelligence and have somebody up there that can be that quarterback of the offensive line. And it sounds like that's exactly what Matt Hennessy can be for us. So I think he'll put on a little more strength being in an NFL organization with our strength coaches, get him on a meal plan, bulk him up a little bit. And I think Matt Hennessy would be a great selection for us in the third round also allows us to not have to utilize a second round pick on one of the, like the top center in the draft so it gives us that flexibility to go o tackle wide receiver center so think about it that way if we can get let's say beckham and then either jefferson from lsu if he falls to us in the second round or michael porter jr in the second round michael pittman jr sorry in the second round and then Matt Hennessy in the third round. Now we just secured the center position. We secured a tackle spot and a wide receiver spot in our first three picks. That would tremendously help Sam Donald in his third year in the league 
and tremendously moved this offense into the right direction. Please let me know what you guys think. With Matt Hennessy on your, on your radar, what other centers do you like? Would you rather have a center in the second round? Or are you good with Jonathan Harrison? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, jet up.